guys, it's another week again. Right, today's video is going to be about skincare, hair products and beauty products, makeup that I use when in like a daily routine or from going out. So I'll put a link in the description where I've got everything from. You probably would have seen it in recent videos, but let's get started. First, I'm going to start with makeup. This is basically what I would use to top up my makeup if it was in the middle of the day. And I don't, but I've had a tan. <laughs> I've had a tan, as you can probably notice. But my fingers are wet and. But I haven't got any foundation on today because I've had a tan. On, I put it on my face as well. Because some people don't have it on their face. But all, literally, I've all gotten today is a bit of powder and um, false lashes. And I've done my eyebrows a bit really gone a bit off but this is what's it's gone a bit crumbly because I've kind of smashed it about a bit but this is such good coverage after putting your foundation on or even if you haven't got any foundation on that day and you just want to look like you've got a, like a light coverage then I'll use just my mascara if I'm not wearing my false lashes so I'll use the Great Lash Maybelline you can see that Great Mash Lash, lash, yeah. not maybe. This is quite good actually. Look, it's, it's quite a, quite a good brush, like because you can literally just flick. Um, that I can't remember how much this was. You've probably seen some of this makeup in my makeup tutorials and everything. But this is a great one. This is only like, literally a little thing. With mascaras, I think they're all the same. Like, well, for, for me, because I'll pick up any one, they just work. I don't really look at what it is or anything is because I just, I don't know. I choose, I don't, it's not like, because obviously I don't have a lot of money, but I'll choose, like, not the cheapest one, but the best one for me. And I think I had this a few years ago, and then I looked at it in boots again, and I was like, wow, this is quite good, actually. I should really take the sticky bit off this. And then I'll use my powder brush to put it on. So basically this is a normal uh, powder brush. It's got a quite nice thing to it. That's what it is basically. It's quite, it's quite light, it's quite light, it's quite nice on your face. It's very like fluffy on your face. It's not like hard or brisk on your face. And then I'll use, if like my lipstick come off, I'll use this lip liner to just go around my lips and then I'll put like just a normal a clear gloss. So this is the Barbara Day Daily. I don't know what to like, but this is like the it's not the matte one, but I really do like it. I think I got this from Boots, and I think it was only like I don't know two ninety nine, which is not too bad. But I will promise you, I'll put this all in the description so you can look it up. It's literally my today, and I got I put where I got like this top from because I really do like this top. Okay, that's all my makeup done. Um, now I go on to my my hair, my hair products I use. So this is when I go in the shower, when I get out of the shower, blah, 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 stuff. When I use like heat and everything. So, when I'm in the shower, I'll first use my, <laughs> I'll use, because my hair is quite, not, not very nice for hair. So I'll use my head and shoulders three in one so basically it's three in one means it's got shampoo and conditioner in it but then I don't actually do it that's true well it is kind of but yeah I'll use my two in one classic head and shoulders I mean you can get other like scents like lemon or apple or anything but I normally just go for the this one it's quite good if you've got other shampoos in the house um, and my dandruff just went so but the thing is you have to keep using it otherwise if you don't keep using it then it'll just come back it's basically like I don't know I don't know but if you don't use it then it's just gonna kind of spit off so that's what I use this is my shampoo and conditioner that I use in my shower then I'll use because obviously I like to use I don't use the head and shoulders conditioner I don't feel it works for my hair. So what I'll use is the Pro 5 Conditioner Repair Protect for dry out or damaged hair, which I have worked. It's this one. I think I got this from Tesco's. 
this is a really good one. It's good. It's great. I mean, everything in this looks great, but I think it's really great for my hair because I don't put it all over my hair. What I'll do is I'll just put it my ends and here because where at here you've got a lot, you've got a load of moisture and oil up here, but in the ends you don't really. It's quite quite brisk and cold at the ends. So I normally just put it on the ends, but I think it's quite good actually. I think I'm running out. I think I need to get some more. But it's the Carno Pro Vibe. It's the new design. And it's a bit wet because I've literally just gone out of the shower. A bit gross, but, but yeah. And then next I'll use when I like get out of the shower, um, before I like blow dry or any do anything to my hair, I'll use the Aussie Jewel Personality the te Texturing and Condition Gel Spray. I can show you what now I've actually got. And this is basically just a spray. I'll put it in so while my hair's wet before I brush it. I know I've probably just put condition on my hair, but it just gives it so I think it brushes through easily. So I wet my hair's already wet, get out of the shower, literally spray this, it's quite a good one. I probably can't really brush it. Well. It's like it's quite good and the smell is just oh my god, it's just amazing. And very good volume if you want to get a load of volume in your hair because my hair's quite flat at the top, so I have to make it like. But this is so good. The I've been using. I use I. My friend introduced me to Aussie. I think about a year ago, and I was when I was in the house. Um, I used the shampoo conditioner, and it was quite good. But obviously, I need my hair and shoulders. But I think this spray is really good if. You're like with me, my hair's quite knotty and you have to like literally brisk it, you have to brush it. But with this, it's so easy, so slick to get through so quick. So that's what I use for my hair. Then I use this brush. Now this brush is great for knotty hair. It's called Ionica Professional Hair Styling. Quite a girly brush, you know. You know, it's got it's not like it's not like a horrible feel to it. It's quite nice. It goes in here. I can't brush. I can't brush my hair while it's dry. The only time I do is when I'm straightening it because it's so muddy. But this is a great one. I will try and find it online, put it in the description box. But I'll probably have to ask my mum because she got this for me for Christmas a few years ago. And the nice. But it's got little gems on it and it's got a little pattern on it, which I think is really cool if you want to take on holiday or take on travel. Then I'll use if I like sculpting my hair. Because this, I, my nan just got back from America, and it's great for sculpting, and it's got a condi sculpting conditioner. It's called Hair Sculpting Cream Frizz Control. Now, this is from America, so I'm not sure. I'll, I'll try and put it in there for you. Apply it evenly to damp hair, and then blow dry. I haven't used this yet, but when I come to my next video, I'll let you know how that went. Um, because my hair is quite frizzy when I blow when I blow dry it, and I think, yeah, you put it, yeah. So, because when my hair gets, yeah, when my hair gets all frizzy, so what this will do is put it on damp hair, then blow dry, then it won't go frizzy. But I haven't actually. Oh, it's like a cream. Yeah, it's like a cream. I thought it was like an oil, but it's not. Oh, actually, it's frizzy. Really nice, actually. I thought it was. Butter in it. But that's what it looks like. And then, if I want to straighten my hair, now I never used to do this, but my mum and my hairdressers have all, well, my hairdresser I go to, like, oh, you have to put heat protection on it because it just damage your hair, and it has, it has damaged my hair. So I use the Got to Be Guardian Angel 220 Heat Protection Blow Dry and Flat Iron. This is great. For protect shine and be divine, this is the got to be bottle. There's not a lot in it left because when I accidentally because that that be this is not working at the moment, so I'm trying to get it fixed. But you just literally when you've done all that, you spray on your hair, like when you've brushed it, and you spray it, and it just protects your hair just in case it gets damaged or anything. My hair's already damaged, but you know. Anyway, this is this bottle. Actually, and then 
if I'm hairspraying my hair, because with my hair, because it's so super curly, as you can probably tell, I just say it's super curly, um, when I iron it and straighten it, like I've got a house for about five minutes and it's already gone, gone back to the way it was curly. Well, they've got a little bit of curl and it's so annoying. And then I'm like, oh, okay, then I've got half curly and half flat again. So, what I'll use is I'll use the Carnie hairspray, probably because I borrowed this from my mum or my nan, I can't actually remember. But I use this, it's quite a big bottle, but I'll share it. It's for all types of hair, it's got pro, pro vitamin B5 in it, which is really good. It's a non sticky one because sometimes you get the sticky ones on your hair, like it's like oh, gross. Um, gives a hair and healthy shine. I think this is from Tesco's or Boots. I'm not actually sure, but that's what it looks like. And it's got this. Uh, you can see it there. It's, it does smell like, I think it smells like, I don't know, like very classy, old, like mature lady. That's what I think it smells like. Honestly, I think it smells like, I don't know actually. Quite, it's actually quite a nice bottle, quite big, it's quite, you'd have to, this would be like, a, this wouldn't be like, you take this on holiday, but because I, if you're going out somewhere, you'd have to have like, a big bag, you can put this in your bag, unless you, if you've got a small bag like this, then you'd have to take a big bag for this. Um, that's all my hair, so now we are moving on to skincare. So basically what I'll use, this is for basically makeup removal, like moisturisers, all that stuff. So I'll tell you about that. Right. So what I'll use, so if I'm in the shower, so I'll do it from when I get out of the shower to, so when I'm in the shower, I will use, this is not a product, but I'll use this, I can't actually remember what it's called now, but scrubbing on the brush, I don't know, like a but it's really good because I exfoliate in the shower, I had to exfoliate on Tuesday because I was getting my spray tan done, they said look you need to exfoliate for because it's, it's better for the skin blah, blah, blah. so I use this, also I use for the body wash I'm going to get all off, um, this is really good, really soft, it's good to rub on your skin, I suppose anyone's good really, but I think it's got sanctuary, which I think it's where I got it from. But it's really good, it's because it's in the shower this morning. I shouldn't really put it on a, a wire. And then what I'll use is my exfoliator, the one I just said about. This is from Sanctuary Covent Garden. So this is basically, I, I think I got this from Boots. And it's a warming sugar polish. So what you do, it's like a normal exfoliator. So you rub it in your hands and it gets really hot. It's not like, you know, the cold ones. So you put a little bit in your hand and then you rub it and it gets hot really quick and you put it over your body really quickly. And I think that's great if you don't want a, like, a, a cold one because you want a cold exfoliator. But it blends with essentials oils to help you relax and calm the mind, supporting a gentle and unwind to a stressful your day. Stressful your day. Blah, blah, blah. But obviously, Obviously, you can't use this on the face because you're getting it in the eye or thing, and I don't think it's very good because it does sound back. Do it for Do not use on the face. Avoid contact with eyes. The product gets into your eyes, rinse with warm water. Obviously, you guys know that because that would be a bit stupid if it didn't. I'm not saying you are stupid, but it's going to be right with her. But that's the Sanctuary Spa from Covent Garden. I think it's amazing. I know it's only a little bottle, but it, I, like, I saw it half left and I had this bottle for five months now but I don't use it every day I use it like when I'm getting like a tan or if I'm going out really or somewhere nice I should it photo like every day but I really don't and then what I'll use is this one it's the body shop coconut shower cream um, soap, soap free cleanser with community fair trade virgin coconut oil from salmon salmon oh salmon really nice. I love the smell of coconuts. If you don't like the smell of coconuts, you'll love this. If you love the smell of coconuts, that's what it looks like. It's from Body Shop. It's a decent sized bottle. Like, I've, it's down here now. I've had it for about six months. No, five, four months, I think. 
but the only downside to this is when you're in the shower and you're trying to do it it's really it's it's hard to get out and put on the camera with one hand so what I have to do is grab my leg and squeeze it and let's close that and do that that's the only downside to it because I can't get it out with one hand I haven't got much strength in one hand to put it on my body so I have to use two hands but it's not really ideal but the smell is great it makes you smell nice when you have the shower obviously of coconuts which is really nice anyway, I really like this product I think it's really smooth it makes your skin all really smooth and everything especially today when it looks really nice and then when I get out the shower I use my favourite Zoella candy cream softening body lotion now I think this is the most amazing thing ever that Lord has created or Zoella has created it's got I love the texture of it because I've never seen a body lotion like this before. Well, there might be one like it, but I haven't actually seen. It's got. Um, I'll show you. Give me a minute. It's got like a. Um, what are they called? What are they, what are they called? The. Uh, beads they're like bursting beads and they're so it's so nice it's not like it's not gritty you know because sometimes you get gritty ones but this is honestly isn't gritty it's so nice on your skin i use it on my hands most of the time but when i go out the shower i'll use it all over like my body to make my skin really soft everyone says i've had soft hands forever but i'll just like because my summer some like these bits get all dry and everything so i'll just stop it but this is so nice. I'll get it from Superdrug. I can't actually remember how much it costs, but like I said, I'll put it in the description below and you guys can look at it. But it's so good, it's so smooth. The beads, the smell of it, it smells so nice. Um, I thought it comes up with the eyes, obviously. And the most amazing thing about this in the world is not testing your animals. I don't like any products that test it. I should really do that, but I know as well that I wouldn't actually do that because But I love like the packaging, I love I love how it just looks so girly and so thrifty. So that's what I do. And then what I do, I normally get my pop before I get in the shower anyway, but then I use my Garnier Yeah, my Garnier cleansing water. I've had this for about I say about seven months now and it's down it's like here it says 200 I don't use it every day but 200 uses but this is so good it's like so it gets off your it's clear for your skin no, it's not got no perfume in it so it's all natural it's not all like but no, I think you've seen this my videos before but it's really clear it's really good on your skin, skin. But it works really well, and I think the smell. Actually, smell it now. I can't actually smell anything, but this is a really good product to use. It was, I think, it was six ninety nine, which is not too bad from Boots. Um, it's dermatologically tested, dermatologically tested, and it's four hundred milliliters with two hundred uses. I think it's even more to be honest because it's just so great. But get this if you want. And then I'll use my Garnier Refreshing Toner. Um, you know, the bottle. It's for normal to combination skin. So I've got about a combination because I've got like an oily T-zone. I have breakouts sometimes. And then I've got like redness in the cheeks. And some of them drop my forehead. So basically combination. The only downside to this. It's supposed to be nice. The only downside to this is when I put it on. It's quite rough on my skin. I don't think it's right for my skin but I kind of need to use it. But it is, it is good, so the downside is just, it's just really hard and rough on my skin. But then, but then I think I might give it, it's suitable for sensitive people. You know, so people are sensitive to them. That's the worst thing. But that's the only downside to it. Other than that, I actually really love it, because like, I've still got loads of it, loads of it left. And I've had it the same time amount I've had my other Garnier products. 
And then at night time, I'll use my Garnier Moisture Restore Night Care. I think it's really good. It's a, gel, a recovery gel cream. You basically, it's only for the night. So you put it on and your skin feels all nice and smooth in the morning. It's all like nice and free for the day. That's what it looks like there. It's like a purple sort of liquid cream. That was really nice. And I love the packaging. It matches my neck actually. Um, but I think it's really like a really smooth texture. It's not like horrible on your skin, but you know. And it's a non-greasy, so it's not when you put it on, you know, something like oily. And I hate that. And I'd rather have it not oily because I don't particularly my face is oily anywhere around here. And I don't want that. So what I'll do is I'll find products that are not for sensitive skin basically you put it on you rub it in like a normal moisturizer and it just it goes it's so good and then in the daytime i kind of get my daily free as well this is the garnier moisture mat which i'll use um yeah i'll use this one it's got a green tea extract in it which i love and i love the smell yeah i love the smell I'll put it on every, almost every day. We should, I should, I should be doing that. But it's 24 hours. It's green tea extract. I absolutely love it. It's great. It doesn't feel rough on my skin. It feels nice and smooth when I go out. So I'll put this moisturiser on, and then I'll start to apply my apply my makeup, and my makeup literally stays on all day. It is so good. That's the product. And then I use. Um, I can't. This is the. It's the. Ha Jaku Lovers. I think it's a Chinese make, but there is supposed to be a little girl under the but this is such a good smell. I hope you smell it actually. It's kind of like a fruity um it's like a fruity like it's kind of yeah, fruity I would say, like a yeah, so it's it's for girls, obviously. Oh, wear this. But it's so I know it's quite small, but it does last a long time. I mean, I've only just right, started recently using it, but I know it's only little, but these are quite expensive makes. I try and find it online, so I did get this a few years ago. And I don't know if it's still in stock, so I will try. And just my other thing, my big one tip before I go into is to drink a lot. Of water. I think, well, I don't know what this is actually. This is my water. I, sh I'm, I do, I did start drinking it every day, but then some of it are artists. But it's essential that you drink at least, I'd say, two of these a day. Yeah, I think it's best to drink like, I'm not sure, a litre a day. But it is so good. And I love this like bottle. It's quite good actually. This bottle, what I'm talking about. Um, yeah, so it's, it's so essential. It makes your skin smooth, it makes your body like your skin smooth, it makes you feel much better, more hydrated. So, that like, that's right. Okay, so the other just normal quick thing is the Garnier. This is quite good at like, summer body. Got this in boots. Let's try it. It's got like an extract. This is the nail varnish I've got on at the moment, and this is what it is. It's a it's a deep purple. I got it from you can't really see the writing, but Ulta. It's an American brand. That's what it is, and I think it's great. It's quite a deep, deep purple, and it's a great colour. You see, it, it's a great colour, and because I've got a tan, it's quite pops out quite a bit. But I'll put in the link to show you below. <laughs> Okay, that's all my tips and beauty tips, hair tips and makeup tips for today. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big tutorials and just let me know in the comments below if you like this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. If you didn't like it, then it's fine. Um, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!